Hi, my name's Allison, and I'm from TechBoomers.com. Today, you will learn how to download and send attachments via email. Attachments are computer files that people sometimes send along with emails. They can be pictures, videos, office documents, PDFs, and more. Here's what you'll learn in this tutorial. How to download attachments how to attach files to an email, and the size limits of Gmail attachments. Firstly, I will show you how to download attachments. Please note that my Gmail may look a little different from yours. That's because I'm using a Gmail theme. You'll learn more about Gmail themes in our Gmail settings tutorial. You can tell if a conversation in Gmail has an attachment if there's a paperclip icon beside the date it was received. Click to open the email. Attachments will appear in Gmail at the bottom of the email in which they were sent. Note, if there's a collapsed email, you'll need to open it to see any attachments. Each attachment's icon will give you a preview of what kind of computer file it is, and maybe even a small preview of what's actually in the file. If you click the arrow at the side, you will download all the files into a single zip file. It will appear on your computer, likely in your downloads folder, as a zip file. A zip file is basically a folder where the contents have been squished down to take up less space and make them easier to move around. You can also send all attachments on an email to Google Drive at once. Do this by clicking the triangular shaped button. You can also choose to download files individually. Move your mouse cursor over an attachment to get more options. Click the arrow button below to download a single attachment to your computer. Again, it will likely show up in your downloads folder on your computer. You can also choose to download the file onto your Google Drive. Click anywhere except on one of the buttons in the attachment to open a full preview of it right in Gmail. Next, I'll show you how to send email attachments. To attach a file to an email, select the Compose button. Fill out the email with the recipient, subject line, and write a message if you'd like. Then, near the bottom, click the Attach Files button. A new window will open that will allow you to browse through the files on your computer. Navigate through your folders until you find the file that you want to use as an attachment. To open multiple files at once, Hold down the control key, then click to select the files that you want, and then click open. You will now see that the files you've attached have appeared in a list at the bottom of your compose window. Each one will show both the name of the file and how much computer memory it takes up. In this case, 5000 kilobytes and 5500 kilobytes. Click on the name of the attachment to open or download it or click the X to the far right to remove it from the email. When you're done, click Send. Lastly, we'll cover attachment size limits. There are limits to the size of attachments that you can send. Any one email in Gmail is limited to about 25 megabytes or 25,000 kilobytes of computer memory. This means that the total computer memory taken up by all the attachments on a single email has to be less than this number. I'm going to try to attach as many photos as I can to this email. Hold down the control key to select multiple files at once. So far, Gmail is letting me send these four attachments. Let's see if I can add any more pictures. If you selected files that will be greater than 25 megabytes, Gmail will tell you. Click Send with Google Drive 
to send all the files, or hit cancel and only send some images. You can also click X next to any attachments to reduce the size of the email. One final thing to note is that other email services usually also have limits on the amount of computer memory that a single email can take up, and some limits might be smaller than 25 megabytes on Gmail. So, even if you are within Gmail's limit on the size of attachments in your email, you may still not be able to send certain emails to certain people if your email and its attachments take up more computer memory than their email service will allow. In that case, let them know they should switch to Gmail as their email service, and then this won't be a problem. Try sending emails with some attachments to your friends and family. Want to learn more? Click the blue button to check out more Gmail tutorials. Click the green button to find other website courses. And as always, click the orange button to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest video tutorials.